Hey, happy Friday. Welcome back to the Friday Funnies. Well, as you know, Queen Elizabeth passed away this last week, but her funeral will not be held until next Monday. Apparently, it will take that long for everybody in the country to stand in line to view her closed casket. Donald Trump said he'll have even more people standing in line when he dies. Wow, you know, that's, that's going to be a lot of people spitting. King Charles III is the new top dog, and his image will replace Elizabeth's on the money. The currency will be a wee bit larger to allow for the inclusion of his ears in the picture. And I look forward to the first time the new queen meets our vice president. It would be like the David Letterman joke at the Academy Awards. Camilla, 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 Camilla. If you don't get this joke, please Google a video for Letterman's only Academy Award appearance. But before you do that, take a few minutes to get into a better mood with this week's Friday Funny. John Basco was a prisoner in the Oklahoma County Detention Center, where he was subjected to cruel and unusual punishment. He was handcuffed to a wall and forced to listen to Baby Shark over and over for two hours. Now, if you're a parent or a grandparent, you can feel this man's pain. If you're not familiar with Baby Shark, Google it after you look up the Letterman line. It also appears that this is a regular form of punishment at this facility. It's the Oklahoma version of the rack. And if this wasn't bad enough, when he returned to his cell, he died. Death by baby shark. And just by mentioning baby shark four times in this story, you will not be able to get that tune out of your head for the rest of the day. <laughs> Our Dumbass of the Week comes to us this week from Walnut Creek, California. Steve Novelli is facing 83 felony and misdemeanor charges. He went to his local Starbucks and used the restroom, and while he was in there, he set up two remote cameras to spy on people on the toilet. This in and of itself is enough to make him our Dumbass of the Week, but wait! It gets better. When Steve was setting up the cameras, he sat on the toilet to adjust the view. When employees found the cameras and called police, guess whose image was the first one to come up? It was Steve, who was easily tracked down and now sits in jail in lieu of a million dollars bail. So Steve, while you use the toilet in your cell, which is on camera by the way, pat yourself on the back for being our Dumbass of the Week. In northeast China, a man named Hu wanted to harvest pine nuts from a very tall tree. Now to reach the nuts, Hu used a hydrogen balloon to raise him aloft, and things were going fine until the tether rope snapped and sent Hu up, up, and away. He was in the air for two days, just blowing in the wind. Authorities were eventually able to contact Hu by phone and told him to deflate the balloon. Hu touched down 200 miles from where he took off and he said he was just happy to be safe on land and he can't wait to get back to playing baseball because as we all know, who's on first? <laughs> Google it. Anyhow, hey, thanks for being with me this week, folks. Please be kind and share these with all of your friends, all of your enemies, anybody you know. And uh, if you have any, if you have any questions, apparently not, then I will see you next week.